Hello! Today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a cruel for YouTuber that is trying to have a year long no buy. And today it's my first day in my Colourpop week and if you have never been here before, I do some theme weeks and this week is going to be my Colourpop theme week and this is like my forgotten Colourpop um, palettes. Some of them I have used once, some of them I have used maybe twice, and one of them I have used kind of a lot, but it has been a long, long while since. And uh, I did a video where I talked about the palettes, I can leave it up here, but I thought that I can show you the palettes that I'm using this week. It's the, um, the Child palette from Colourpop, yeah, I'm doing Colourpop big. It's the Child palette. At Forest Sight, the one, the collab between War Beauty Christian Colourpop, Lush Life, the Zodiac that I've been using a lot a long while ago, and the California Love. And I'm actually going to start with the California Love, so I guess we're just going to hop into this. So I'm going to prime my eyes and then I'm going to start the look. So the California Love is the orangey toned cat hair I have in my palette. The orange tone neutral palette from Colourpop and I bought this because I thought that this was going to be my favorite nude everyday palette with an orange hint to it. It is not. I think I've used this one time or maybe two times and I have just not been like super impressed with this one so I thought like this is definitely going to be one of the palettes for this theme week. And I actually don't know where to start. I like don't know what shimmer I want to use. I have no idea, so maybe we can swatch the shimmers. The three I'm thinking about. So these three shimmers are ones that I'm thinking about and maybe. Mm. It's like, I know it's not a super orange palette, but at the same time I feel so uninspired for holding in an orangey tone palette. These are the sort of on the shimmers. It didn't make me any smarter or wiser. I think I will start with this Laguna in my crease and then maybe take Sequoia or Gold Rush. We will see. And that has been a really nice thing now during my low buy that I haven't bought any unnecessary palettes from Colourpop. I don't know if you get what I mean by that, but for me, the shipping, what I can remember is kind of expensive on Colourpop, but then you get free shipping at, I think it's... $50 or $55 or something like that or it was before so it was often like when I shopped from Colourpop and uh, no no of my no one of my friends wanted something I was just taking palettes that I maybe haven't thought about that much to uh, put in my cart so I can get free shipping and uh, that has been really nice with having a no buy that that hasn't happened. And Colourpop hasn't been a brand that I missed to use that much. Sure, there has been some Colourpop releases that I have been intrigued about. But nothing like I am sad that I'm missing out on and that feels really good. But now the latest weeks I have had such a craving for using Colourpop so I was just maybe I should just do a week and do we use my Colourpop so here we are doing a Colourpop week and using the Colourpop palette that I haven't used that much. Okay this was a little bit more pigmented than I thought it was going to be But I still think that I want to go in with the Gold Rush to deepen this crease down a little bit. And I want to do like the most, most of my lid 
shimmery but I want some darker colors as well so I don't really know what I'm what is going to end up with and I have been thinking this year during my no buy if like if I use a palette that I have in my collection that I don't really like maybe I should decluttering it but It hasn't happened still, even though I have maybe have used some palettes that has not been like super excited for me, but yeah, I don't know. So far with this one, it doesn't feel like this is going to be the clutter, but it's just, I don't know, maybe it's just that I have better orange in my collection that I like more, so I don't pick this palette out. I have no idea. It might be the case. I think I will take this one, Mission, and just deepen down a little, little bit in my outer corner. Because then we're going to fill up this little lid with a lot of shimmers. So I'm going in with this. And I guess this is one of the shades that I've used. And one thing that I'm not super thrilled about is in this palette. Like when I'm looking at it, it is a lot of the matte. Oh. This was super dark. It's one of it's some of the matte shadows that has like glitter specks to them. I don't know if I can show you. No, like this one has it, and also this one. I don't think you can see it. But it is like this glitters that doesn't um, They don't show up on the eye. I just think I want it like this. And this was so much darker than I thought it was going to be. This was a... Okay, a, a whole, a whole the... Stop what you're doing and listen to this. This was a really nice brown. <laughs> now I'm going in with... Shawenga and Diego. So I'm going to take this uh, on the outer part and this on the inner part and I'm going to take this a little bit deeper one on my matte shade as well. This shade was really good as well. These are really good um, color pop. These are a good color pop formula and that is a thing now, I, I don't know how Colourpop has been the latest because it has been more than a year, I think, since I did buy my last Colourpop palette, but before they could be like, some of the palettes I have from Colourpop are like amazing, the shimmers are amazing, the mattes are amazing, and then I have had other palettes, like I had a Powerpuff palette, and I did decluttering that actually because I didn't think it was so special. And I hope they are better now, like doing only good palettes because they have their own lab. So I think it shouldn't be that hard for them to like know what works. But yeah, not every color pop palette is good, but this is really good. Like. The brown, the matte brown is really deep and nice, and this shimmer is a really, really nice. So now I'm going in with the lighter one, Diego. It seems a little bit more flaky. <laughs> but it still looks really, really good. I really like when I have it <laughs> looks like this. It's, it's just working, Colourpop is working. I do not need to be disappointed. So I guess this palette could like fill up the need that I wanted it to have for me. But it just feels like I have better shades and better palettes that I do like more than this palette for the reason that I wanted it for. Actually, but if this is still available and you want the color story, I have nothing to complain about because it works really good 
which I don't know how I feel about that <laughs> but yeah it looks good it was a super simple look to do I'm just going in with my crease brush with no additional color or anything and just blending it a little bit in my crease okay super fast easy look that looks good because yeah I do love these colors like orange is my favorite so okay I'm going to take away take away the fallout fix my base and then come back after free lipstick change <laughs> I think I feel done for my face I did use ombra buskill from melt and lunch money from Colourpop. and the lipstick choice went to Terra from kaleidos I don't know about this I think I do like this color but uh, I don't know and for my outline I did just go in with honey dude and yeah this is my look with the California love and like I think this is a good palette but um, I don't think I need this palette in my collection if I'm going to be honest it is it's no wrongs with it at all. I did use this shimmer and this shimmer. Really nice, both of them. This was really deep and pigmented and easy to work with. Also, like, I'm not mad about this palette at all. It's just, I don't think this has a place in my collection. Of course, I do love my orange shade. I do really like this look and I think it's... It's easy to work with and if you want to maybe the in a little bit of orange but you're not sure I think this is a great palette but I don't think it's a palette for me I have other orange in my collection that I like more I have more neutral palettes in my collection that I like more than this and I will choose over this so I think this palette just didn't it just doesn't fit in my collection it's not a bad palette but it doesn't fit in my collection I still don't think I will keep it but um, it wouldn't be a palette that I would buy again um, if it came out now I wouldn't buy it again but yeah that was all for this video I hope that you are looking forward to this week it's going to be so fun to play with these palettes again so if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope that I will see you in the next one bye